why don't we why don't you guys want to light up a couple of demos and uh let let poor joseph breathe a little bit here <laughs> <laughs> might be a good idea um so <clears throat> let's uh joseph we have two demos we have, sure. we have stable diffusion live on a handset oh. and we have mm -hmm. uh an int for uh, super resolution demo i think why don't we um why don't we start because we have we probably have a fair number of gamers in our audience why don't we start okay. with the super resolution uh in right. four demo if you can if you can pull that off and i think we can get it running folks this is live it's not memorex uh, i think we can get this running and and live so that joseph can actually uh, talk a little bit over it and tell us what we're seeing all so right go, for, go for you joe it. yeah yeah okay so what we have is um gaming content that's running through uh, our uh, super resolution network we, we call it uh QSR net. And what it is, a, it is a deep learning solution that's been trained to upsample this kind of uh, content. And it's something that can run very fast. And we, we you know, we've, it's an example of um, focusing on the domain, having a smaller model be able to run it fast. And, and this is also even further quantized in four. Now I'm actually running it um, with a cap on the frame per second, just so that you can see uh, things, you know, this is like the natural speed of movement. So you can kind of see things that are going on and, you know, I can pause it and you can see, you know, the left side can be more jagged than the right side. Um, it can be more aliasing going on with the uh, background. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can catch something here. Textures aren't quite as sharp. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like left. Yeah, and then I think earlier there there was a flame, and and uh, you know the flames themselves also weren't rendered as accurately. So this is something of an example where yeah, if we if we have a certain content, we can make it run you know, really well. Now, what what we can even do further when we move to uh, integer network and even in four is is we can see how fast we can run it. And, and this is where we have this other mode where it looks like it's fast forward, but it's actually more about running it as fast as possible, as, you know, as the processor will allow us. And so here we have um, the uh, frame per second on the top right corner is, is uh, almost like 140 a system. <laughs> and that's even though we're zooming in on a crop that, you know, the left says like a 137 by 137 crop, hmm. uh, this output mm -hmm. is, it's, it's doing the whole rendering. So we are getting a 4K image coming out. Um, and in the process- From a 540p input. Yeah, from a 540p input. So the process is going through all the work to do it to, and it's still getting at 142 frame per second. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're zooming in so you can, you can take a look and see the differences between uh, the left and the right. So this, we, we've seen, we saw, uh, something from Qualcomm earlier, uh, I guess, you know, let's say about a month ago, I think, um, called Snapdragon GSR, which is different. This is an, an algorithmic uh, implementation of super resolution. Um, so very much similar to, uh, let's say, DLSS from NVIDIA or what have you for, you know, PC gaming. Um, this is similar in its algorithmic uh, processing uh, and, you know, uh, integer four, Precision is what is what you're actually show, showcasing here, right? Um, yeah, the the like the algorithm behind it might be a little different uh, than than some of the other ones from other companies. Oh, yeah. um, but I would say that, yeah, even relative to what you you mentioned at Snapdragon Summit, this is more of like an AI research demo showing that you can run a neural network based um, up a super resolution algorithm, and you know get it up to this resolution and this speed, because I think at the time when we kind of started this project, it wasn't, it was kind of in question and we wanted to demonstrate that, yeah, these techniques are really, you know, really amazing, but they're also something that we can, you know, potentially bring to the edge one day um, mm -hmm. from, you know, the research and the papers and so forth. So this is where, yeah, so that's, that's where the, the, the point of this is. Um, um, but yeah, yeah. And, and then we take it a step further within four. Like even last year, um, we did even show this with say natural image and in eight, but then we you know pushed it even further and went down to four bit. What what the the difference um, 
not just in speed, but like for going down to four bit, more of the benefit was that we, it's hard to see it now, but we had a power measurement too. And mm. we were getting um, like a better power draw um, when running these, because because this is super resolution, it's running every frame and it's running at, you know, if I run it at the max rate that's allowable, it's running every, you know, um, it's running 142 frames per second. So you can imagine that if we can spend a lot less power on that, that's a big deal. 